What's up, Jared over here? Today we have WWE Elite Legend Series 22 Target Exclusive, The Sultan. I did not have anybody else from the set. I did not, so the other people in the set, let's turn this around and see. So we have Hulk Hogan when he was like in New Japan, which I could care less. I'm not gonna get that figure. Um, I do want Captain Lou Albano, but uh, the pre-order sold out too fast, so I didn't get him, because I pre-ordered the Sultan figure, and I went to check my target. It's gone, it's already sold out. The only figures they had was Sultan and Hulk Hogan, and Muhammad Ali. I don't really want him because he's not an actual WWE guy. So I did not get Muhammad Ali. He was on pre-order like forever. So all we have today here to review is the Sultan. So we just have Sultan. Um, not a very long-lived character. So I'm surprised they made this figure. Also, the person that played Sultan was Rikishi. Rikishi. Before that was uh, Fatu. And then he became the uh, Sultan. Then he became Rikishi. Which Rikishi was the most like remembered character obviously uh so we have the normal new legends packaging kind of like the based off the old legend packaging and like the old wwe elite packaging you got the wwe elite logo legends logo sultan there side there's the artwork of him sultan and obviously we already say back here all the people in the set and then here you go you can pause the video if you want to read this description right there and then there's another picture of him and then you got the cut out of the the old wwe wwf retro kind of logo without the f but enough of the packaging, let's get this figure opened up and let's review him. Okay, so I got the Sultan opened up. He already has Mike holding hands on the figure. Not Mike holding hands, he has fist hands on the, on the figure. And then he has two Mike holding hands he came with. And then he also came with two opened, somewhat open hands. Not the complete open like chop hands, but they're like the open like kind of claw hands. And then obviously he has the fist hands already on him. He comes with this big gigantic hat piece. Honestly, looking at him, I this reminds me of like a, a, I'm assuming he's supposed to be like some kind of like Egyptian character. I didn't I don't I didn't watch obviously during this time I was I didn't even wasn't alive, but I've like I've gone back and watched old wrestling. I don't remember this. I think he had a match at WrestleMania against The Rock, if I can remember right. Like the very first WrestleMania match of The Rocks was against the Sultan. Well, I want to say was it WrestleMania 13 or 12. And that's all I remember. I think his character was, was supposed to be some Egyptian thing. But that's why I was... <laughs> enough with that, though. But that's why his hat looks like this, I think. And he has, like, this whole outfit. So he has this gigantic robe that's on him. So when you open it up, there's a bunch of detail. There's no detailing. It's just all red. But you can see through the detailing on the outside. Which the outside's brown with all this crazy-looking cool detailing. Like, this robe's, like, really cool. He's got, like, the collar. And you flip it up. And it's red. He's got the string. Where's the undo that string take this off so it can show you how big this rope is like so here is the box and to show you how big the rope is that thing is huge it's literally as tall as the box so gigantic rope a lot of detailing in the rope nice cloth rope so here is actually the sultan figure itself so he has kind of like the boots that xavier woods wears those uh wrestling boots with the little hook on the um by the toes and then it's like a maroon red then he has uh, these big, baggy, weird-looking pants with a big, like, uh, cloth, kind of like, it's not cloth, but it's like a rubber belt piece that has a gold and goldish, uh, like, a chrome blue with the gold. And then his pants are, like, he got the stripes with, a mar uh, like, a brown and then a maroon red. And then, oh, this piece comes off, apparently. Uh, this, like, gold satchel, like, piece of cloth, I don't know. It's rubber. Oh man, this is annoying. It's not going back on. All right, so I got it back on. There we go. So, and then upper body piece, he's got it like a big torso upper body. It's just plastic. And it's like a singlet piece in the top. And it's just molded. There's it's like a plastic. So there's just like chest, but it's like molded texturing of like circles and details there. The straps and then the back has the same kind of detailing. And he's just got typical smaller arms, double joint arms with the fist hands. One has nothing on this arm right here. And the other one actually has like an armband, like gold trim, like a kind of a flame blue red thing. And then, of course, God dang, this thing. Okay, let you, I'm going to let you know if you don't have your figure yet and you're going to get this figure. This piece falls off like crazy. It's really annoying. So I'm just going to put that back on when I go to put it on my shelf for posts or pictures or something for the thumbnail. That thing's very annoying. So here's the actual mask, uh, like the head with the mask. Of the Sultan, other than it's Rikishi. So here's the mask. 
It like covers his mouth and nose so you can still see his eyes. It reminds me of a Bane mask, honestly. Like, when you don't see the hair, you can see he has a ponytail in the back with the gold trim. With braid, it's like a braided ponytail. You don't see this, it looks like, it almost looks like a Bane mask. Like, if you wanted to make a custom Bane figure out of a, a Mattel head, you probably could some way make it this way. Like, you could paint this mask black and somehow cover up the earrings. We see he has gold earrings. His bald head, red maroon with the red stars and everything with the red, not red star, gold stars, red mask, and then the gold S for the Sultan. But yeah, this head, obviously you can pop it off. You definitely could make a custom Bane head from DC. Like you just cut this ponytail off, paint this all black. It look, totally looks like a Bane mask from like, um, a Bane mask though from like the Dark Knight Batman movie. <laughs> but enough with Bane from DC. I'm more about this figure. This figure, it feels good. Um, it's not like one of those big figures that are stiff. Like, the legs move great. Like, you can completely do the splits and everything. It's a lot of articulation, honestly, in this big figure. Um, he almost could have used a, like, a torso that swivels, like, Otis and all them. Instead of ab crunch because he's so big. But it works. I'm like, I'm not going to be, like, playing with this figure, this one. I'll be probably just be, and won't be posing with him. He'll just be going on the shelf or the attitude error shelf, probably. And that's really it. But this figure is pretty nice. Not too bad. All right, there you have it. This was the review of the new WWE Legends Target Exclusive Legends Series 22, the Sultan figure. Uh, really cool figure. Unique. Uh, usually you don't get these kind of figures from WWE, like these characters. They don't really have these kind of goofy characters anymore. So kind of a cool figure. I got it honestly because I thought it was just a cool looking figure and unique. Otherwise, I really don't care about the Sultan character. But overall, I thought it it's a very toyetic figure. But honestly, if you're if you don't want to like play with this figure and you don't have a shelf or anything, honestly, there's no point in getting it. I got it literally just because I think it's a cool looking figure, something that maybe we'll play with. Most likely, I'll be decision to go on the added to shelf because he, that's when you wrestle there with. Uh, during that time so this is jrw make sure to like subscribe stay tuned for more wrestling figure content because we got some more figures to review and i'll see you guys in the next one